Yes, to land this Mr. Space. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. Sorry, Take two. Oh, you. Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. They're crafting twin 40-foot wooden schooners, the traditional kind. Hey, everybody. I'm Stephanie Ballmont. Welcome to CMB Scene, the show that celebrates all the people, places, and things that make the four Atlantic provinces so very special. From Nova Scotia to New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island to Newfoundland and Labrador, we take you to where the action is. And that's why we're in St. John's for East Coast Music Week. It's the 27th anniversary of the now five-day festival that welcomes artists and musicians from across the four Atlantic provinces and invites folks from around the world to celebrate everything the East Coast music scene has to offer. Over the course of the next two shows, we'll showcase all the fun, from the big concerts, to the solo gigs. This love is a time bomb. Watch it explode. We'll have some great chats with this year's award winners. As long as everything goes well on Signal Hill, you can look forward to so much more from the Trues, eh fellas? It's gonna be great. And introduce you to some new artists breaking onto the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to reveal them now, the secrets. <laughs> Plus, we'll give you the scoop on how this whole event comes together. Well, you see, Sunday uh, at the Duke of Duckworth Live will be the Manchester United versus Manchester City. It's called a derby game in, in England. Oh, where will you be? There. Okay. <laughs> oh, very good. I'll be switching my phone off for it's two hours. Like we're in St. John's. Uh, absolutely, yes. I organize the whole week around the game. We'll hit the red carpet before the gala, get you rinkside for some charity hockey, and play a game or two of our own with some of your favorite East Coast folks. Yes! gentlemen right on with so much on the go I say let's get going starting with the best of the best in addition to the meeting the greeting and the music making East Coast Music Week is a chance to recognize those artists and industry folks who've stood out amongst their peers the Jack Burn Arena in Torbay was the site for the 2015 East Coast Music Awards and all the stars were there including the evening's host funny and talented NL fella Johnny Harris amidst wonderful performances in flight safety's conversation took home album of the year and departures from our pals the ones who departed for Germany before things began one folk recording of the year and those are just two of the many doled out that night but the evening's big winners by far Cape Breton band Town Heroes who won group of the year along with the fans choice awards for entertainers and video of the year for holding up grants when we make it home, we can make it happen. And they continued to hand out the hardware as the week went on, with trophies given to Jimmy Rankin's Back Road Paradise for Country Recording of the Year, and to Joel Plaskett, who was declared Producer of the Year. Chelsea Amber's Introducing Chelsea Amber picked up two awards, one for R&B Soul Recording of the Year, and the other for Gospel Recording of the Year. And Mo Kenny's In My Dreams took home the ECMA Award for Pop Recording of the Year. You can find a full list of this year's winners on CNBCN.com but we wanted to highlight those specific artists as they'll be the ones helping you win our TV Free Stuff prize pack for this two-part special. And here's how it works. Throughout this show and the next, you'll see those folks pop up from the bottom of your screen. Each one will bring with them a letter. And you'll need to write down all of those letters and unscramble them to solve our TV Free Stuff prize pack answer and win a CNBC t-shirt signed by the ECMA artist featured in our broadcast. It's a one-of-a-kind prize for sure, so you'll want to keep your eyes peeled for those letter clues. Amidst the East Coast music and merrymaking, I met up with first-time executive director Andy McLean to get his read on the 2015 events so far. 
Yeah, it's been absolutely awesome. I mean, yeah. as you know, this is my first year as executive director, so this is my first year through uh, the whole event. And do and I salute you? Because nobody was really clear on that in the media center. Oh, God, no, I hope not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. No, I mean, you should salute my whole team. I mean, uh, I'm just, because you know, one person. it is person. a team. We should say that. Now, how many people would you say are behind this? Oh, gosh. Because we mean, just show up and have yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know for immediately there's 300 volunteers that we've uh, taken from the local community here, which without them, we would not be able to run right. the event at all. So they are absolutely essential. Yeah. And we have a small but vital core staff uh, in our head office in Halifax right and then we take a lot of contract people so on our staff meetings now we're about 25 people on the okay. call wow. and obviously we have a local office here in St. John's sure. um, to do all of the local things and then unfortunately that, that office will, will now be kind of broken apart and we'll say our sad farewells on, right. on Sunday and then when we move to Sydney Nova Scotia next next year okay Brett we'll, we'll create another local team there and right. uh, move on don't you bury that lead Andy McLean because that is <laughs> that's a big story now I was at the last time they were in Cape Breton and oh. you're in for a good time <laughs> I, I hear so. Well, everything's a good time here yeah, in Atlantic the Canada. East Coast, that's right. But yeah, I was up there in December to look around, do some scoping Number out. Number two, beautiful. Number two, facility. yes, my it goodness. is. Uh, and Centre 200 is yes. where we'll do the gala. And uh, my goodness, I'm looking forward to embracing the whole native uh, culture as well, the First Nations. That's right. Because we're on their land, and I think this, we can make it a very special uh, ECMW 2016. Nice. You know, by, by being there. And what's St. John's like? I, I mean, I know what it's like, but what I mean, in terms of coming in and bringing a conference. It's pretty great. Yeah, oh, incredible. From the first time I came over here, which was a, probably the spring of last year, and I uh, hadn't been to St. John's in probably 20 years since I was a musician myself and was playing here. Oh, wait a minute. So, what? What do you play? Oh, well, you know, most stuff, but I mean, guitar like guitar. everybody. Okay, yeah, there you guitar. Yeah, guitar and uh, right, I was the writer in my band and uh, nice. everything. So, um, yes, coming here immediately, the Newfoundland hospitality, the beautiful location, the right. the exotic actual location that it is, Know, knowing the delegates uh, that we bring in, because we bring your, uh, in over 100 delegates uh, internationally this year yes. for the Export Buyers Program. Right. So St. John's I knew was going to be an easy sell from that perspective. Right. And the culture, the humor, the food, everything, and of course the music. There's a huge right. tradition. George Street is well known. Yes. Uh, so it's a great infrastructure to build around. Yes. I figured that was going to be uh, fairly straightforward. Um, and, and so it's been great since we came in, pitched to the city, they've been supported, the province have been so supportive local people have um, wonderful it's awesome. great to be it's a shame we won't be coming back for you know another, another few um, years yes, well yeah. we're glad you're here now we thank you for making the time congratulations on a wonderful weekend thank you thank you very much still ahead on CNBC in a blissful chat with fortunate ones and we'll get a talk and a tune in with Ennis We'll meet up with Video of the Year winner Megan Smith. The Delta St. John's is our home base for East Coast Music Week, and everywhere you look in this hotel, there's music being made. on your way to where you're going. What do you act there? <laughs> you know what? I had to do a songwriter circle. Yeah. And I've uh, been making a little bit of money. Yes. So I bought myself a oh. uh, tea kit. You did not. So I do. I, I, I love to have you it on You travel with your own tea? I travel. It's a it's a case. Everybody, you know, I used to play in a band with the ambiguous case, and yeah. now you know it's a tea kit in there. Stop it. <laughs> True the story. secrets you learn. <laughs> now, how are you? You're doing great. You're looking Fantastic. Sweetheart, thank Chicks you very much. Chicks are swarming much. around you Oh now, my right? God, I can't beat them off. Is that true? <laughs> okay, now you're part of this songwriter circle. I know that's a big part of your uh, your world is yeah. writing music and you're on the road. Where do you find your inspiration? Um, you know what, back home. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, for me, uh, 
like creatively, I'm I'm most at home in uh, in my basement in Cornerbrook where I'm living right now, and also in Cadroy Valley where I grew up as Beautiful well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's inspiring. Very good. All right. Well, this is my first walk and talk. I usually trip, but it's only because I'm beside the handsome Sherman Downey. <laughs> well Have a done. great show in there. My Thank brother. you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Time to take our first break, but when we return, we'll connect with three award-winning guys from PEI just fresh on the scene and catch up to an NL fella whose old band holds the record for most ECMA wins. We'll be right back. Welcome back to CNBC. We're in St. John's for East Coast Music Week 2015. And it's a great chance to enjoy the talents of some of our established Atlantic Canadian artists. She's a local in the evening when the song says she's right. And in the morning when you wake up, she's out like a light. And it's a wonderful opportunity to discover some of the newer acts in the mix. Now, truth be told, we've been digging the music of this year's winners of the ECMA for World Recording of the Year since they broke onto the scene back in 2013. And we loved catching the PEI-born trad trio perform in the homeland on Canada Day last year, so it's truly cool to finally connect on camera. Finally, I catch up to these three. I'll tell you what, they're everywhere, they're omnipresent, and I still don't know what their name means, but I do know that this is Jess, and this is Caleb, and that is Rowan. Ladies and gentlemen, they are 10, no, they're 10 strings in a goat skin, which is musical, right? It is, yeah, it's, you know, it's, there's been so many ways of people saying it. People have said 10 strings in a goat string, 10 goats in a, a lot of other profane. stuff, yeah, a lot, a lot of profane options there, yeah. So we won't, we don't get into that. It's not that kind of show. No, 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 no. yeah, no. Are y'all related? Am I wrong about uh, that? Two, two of us are. Uh, well, he's my brother, so Rowan is uh, is my older brother, and then Jesse just a uh, adoptive brother, I suppose. Yeah. He's a brother from another mother. That's exactly <laughs> Again, not that kind of show. <laughs> uh, but and now, so and Lenny Gallant is your uncle. Yeah, is no. that right? That that is correct. Yeah. Okay, very. And he he was involved in the production and the inspiration, and I believe wardrobe at some point. Was that right or no? <laughs> <laughs> Wardrobe, I, he, he's definitely given us some tips. Probably at some point. But I mean, an influence, that's a heavy term. Well, one band that's influenced many over the course of their 20-year run, NL Supergroup, Great Big C, with countless hits and as many ECMA awards as years on the go. Well, the lads are off doing their own thing now, including Gull Island native Sean McCann. We caught up between his hosting duties at the Export Fire stage to discover he's happy to be back with this East Coast crowd. I haven't been to East Mason in 10 or a dozen years. Right. I came back, it's in St. John, so I'm here. It was easy for me. Right. Went down, Shelly Nordstrom asked me to MC this thing. Gave me an excuse, gave me a pass, and I realized that it's really important because it binds us. This is my tribe. Right. That's right. right. My, peeps. my these are my peeps. My <laughs> right. tribe are not, are not like out on. They're not engineers. They're not teachers. They're not lawyers. Right. They're musicians and they're songwriters. And I think it's really important. And the more time I've spent digging into it, the more I realize that music is binding us it's what we have left no matter what happens in the technology which is a big problem the music industry in the world is so fast it's changing right. last 20 years unpredictable violently fast but what what is the glue is the song is the music it's every language it's what right. keeps us together and that is more important now than ever because devices even though they're supposed to bring us together devices can be divisive right indeed. in my opinion and yeah. i'm trying to wrestle with that i got to talk to you too because you talk about uh, the music binding us but this the stories that you tell uh, that's important too to really convey what's in your heart and get that message out there because i know a lot of your songs really hit a nerve and and um, there's a common ground you're finding yeah, I mean, when I started with, I made some big changes in my life over the last three and a half years, and I, uh, you know, part of the process was trying to figure out what was the problem, and that, that's the heart of it, and I figured out what that was, and it made, that made a whole lot of sense. A relief came over me, and I moved, I was able to move forward. Right. Music was my medicine. Right. That's what kept me from coming right apart, and, uh, and that's why I believe that it's, it's more important than ever now, because of our fractured society, our attention spans, we're limited to 140 characters, all these great things, but we're not talking about anything. So when I started out with Help Yourself, and I just finished a new record with Joel again, I was trying to say something that mattered. Right. And it was, it was just to me, it was my thing, but it connected with a lot of with people. A lot of people. Yeah. And when, okay, so that was surprising. Yeah. But then I, the, 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 the backwash of that was, the, for me, was like, I'm not alone. Right. So I, I put it out there. It's it's my truth. It's sincere. It's not designed to make money. God knows, because I didn't. But it's like, I'm putting it out there because I'm working through something. I'm using music. And what came back was this reassurance. Yes, that worked. 
I know what you're saying. You're not alone because I'm like you. Right. And if music can do that for me, it can do it for anybody, and I believe that. Still ahead on our CNBC and ECMA special, we'll hit mile one as the musicians take on the Republic of Doyle. Plus, we'll head backstage with newcomer Brianne Goss and test out some lyrical trivia as East Coast artists compete for jumping bean coffee. Oh, man, I love coffee. And I adore fortunate ones. We put the NL duo of Andrew James O'Brien and Catherine Allen on our ones to watch list this year, and since the release of of their debut CD, The Bliss, all eyes are on them. We caught up to the couple on their way in to host the big ECMA songwriter circle, just one of the many gigs they've got on the go this week, and one for which they're truly grateful. Well, I think for us it's just an opportunity to kind of share the stage with, you know, because most of the time it's just two of us up there, which is always great, you know, obviously, but it's nice to Some be- Some chemistry. Oh, okay, I hope so. We have a good time. <laughs> I didn't do very well with it in high school, so we're trying to make up for it now, Aww. you know? But it's, um, you know, it's just a great opportunity to, to share the stage with, with people you admire, you know, and, and we've, we're such big fans of everyone in the Songwriter Circle today, and, and now to, to, to be peers, it, it feels really special, you know. And this is the first ECMAs where we've had an album, so right. songs that we've written together we can finally share with people, it's such right. a good feeling. Yeah, yeah it's it great. Is, it is blissful. If I could just say it that. Is. Well, right? well played. Thank nice you. name, Brock. Okay, now I know you have to go. I just ha got to ask you this. I know you're both wily veterans of the road, but traveling and touring, do you love it? Because I know you're gearing up for a whole lot more of it. The answer is yes, we love okay. it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's crazy, but it's awesome. You know what? We get to meet people that love our music and we get to interact with them and share with them. It's amazing. Yeah. I think the key to touring in, with any kind of uh, regularity and, and length of tour is just to try to find a routine yeah. you know and and whether that's like getting in to watch property brothers for an hour which we do <laughs> hotel hotel of it we don't have cable at home so we we revel in the property brothers and, and the food network and i'll tell you one thing we share in common is our love of the taggart and torrance oh. podcast oh my gosh amazing. it's I you know mean. it's been amazing we got snowed in in truro on the way back from tour right and uh, the the blue patees ferry was stuck in ice so we were waiting and jonathan torrance uh, invited us over for dinner oh, nice. um, but we couldn't get there because he lives out on this farm yes. and his driveway was 500 feet long and completely right. snowed in but uh, pretty surreal to be striking up a bit of a friendship with him and and we I remember we were driving on the 401 in Toronto and uh, listening to this Taggart and Torrance podcast. That was the first one we ever heard. And, I was, and shout outs I, to you yes, guys yeah. too, right? Which and so awesome. I'm driving along and uh, like just crying and like convulsing with laughter and I, I didn't have my eyes open. His I'm eyes, driving, right? Andrew's eyes were closed <laughs> laughing and I'm like, Andrew, open your eyes. We're <laughs> oh in traffic. Like. It was insane. They're just great. I mean, yeah. it really helped to pass the time for sure. And, and uh, really cool to be able to just kind of that's a great way to, on tour too to kind of let off some steam is just kind of sit in the car and just like connect. and die yeah. laughing yeah yeah on, on, the, on a gridlocked 401 oh, good times. <laughs> well good listen times. i tell you what it's so lovely to catch up to you now because i have a feeling we'll be like oh my gosh how are you i'll be looking at you on tv and oh. billboards and all that stuff you're well, wonderful both we'll always have, you. have time to chat for sure i'll pay you later <laughs> this is all there is baby that's okay Leaving in the place, pushing my time away. A tender hearted sadness pulls me through the day. That's alright, my heart is okay. For the first time ever on CNBC, and it's time to play the East Coast Music Edition of TLC. These lyrics for coffee proudly sponsored by Newfoundland's own premium coffee roaster, Jumping Bean Coffee. Organic, fair trade, single origin, eco-friendly coffee products, that's Jumping Bean. Let's meet our first two contestants. All right, going head to head, two ECMA award winners, let's be clear about it right now, from the beautiful province of uh, Nova Scotia, Cape Breton, is that right? I'm from Cape Breton. Cape Breton, Mike Ryan, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, town heroes. How you feeling? Not too bad. All right, yeah. let's hear your sound device. Do you know how to work it? Uh. All right, very good. He's on board. John Landry, ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him. He's from the Stanfields, uh, the province of Nova Scotia. How are you? Good, how are you? You're very, whoa. And John, if you might recall, an award winner already on trivia uh, on CNBC. Do you remember? I do. Yes, let's flash back now. How do you feel about taking the taking the crown? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, John Landry out of frame and the winner of How Well Do You Know Your Homeland Trivia. I'm like I'm Floyd Money Mayweather of yeah. this of this of this jam. You 
have no idea what you're going up you're against. Yeah, I still don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's how it's going to work. We're playing for coffee now, jumping bean coffee, so you can't beat that. I'm going to start to read some East Coast music lyrics, and as soon as you know the song, okay. you buzz in. Okay. Gentlemen, here we go. Well, the cops have been looking for the son of a gun who's been ripping the tar off the 401. Oh, John Landry! Stump Tom. Yeah, the song is? Spud the Spud. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, right on! And the cops have been looking for the son of a gun that's been ripping the tar off the 401. They know the name when the truck shines up in the sun. Green Gables. All right, there's your Screech. Congratulations. Screech Coffee from Jumping Beans. It's a consolation prize. Yeah. Woohoo! Thanks, guys. You're still a winner. Hey? Okay? Going head to head from St. John's, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Ryan. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, I feel lucky. Is that true? I feel Very lucky. Good. Yeah. Let's hear it. All right, he's ready. And Dave Sampson from the beautiful island of Cape Breton. How are you today now? Fabulous. All right, very good. So I'm, I'm well, I'm well. And here's how this is going to work. I'm going to start reading lyrics from a famous East Coast music song. And as soon as you know it, you need to beep in. Can I tag along tonight? We'll kill... Joel Plaskett. Oh! What? Joel Plaskett, uh, no word with you. <gasps> that was quick. Oh! Wow, that's unbelievable. Can I tag along tonight? We'll kill some time. It looks like you might need a nailed it. You nailed it. Chris Ryan, holy cow. Okay, espresso beans from Jumping Bean. As a consolation prize, D Dave Sampson. Yeah, okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Only only one question. Well, that's You're not it. You're giving me a chance to even win? There's, a, really there's next that. next year on home territory. Thanks, Steph. All right, very good. Very good. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. We got our uh, next two set of competitors playing for Jumping Bean Screech Coffee. How are you feeling? Dwayne Andrews, a returning champion. How are you? I'm doing doing good. Ready for, for a rematch. Very good, very good. You're looking good. Let's hear your sound device. Make sure it works properly. All right, very good. He's good. And now a rookie coming in from the, uh, the, the wilds of Nova Scotia, if you will. Bridgewater, if you will. Uh, Jonathan Krause, how are you today? I'm nervous, actually. That, but other than that, I'm doing well. Yeah, I, I know. He's intimidating. Well, <laughs> look at him. He's got facial hair. I shaved. Up, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I see this. Here we go. You held my hand when it was cold. When I was lost... You took me home. Oh, I think that was Dwayne Andrews. I'm pretty sure you were in on the, what? We're needing a judge's ruling. If it works. How do you feel about it? Uh, I, well, I'm thinking Ann Murray, but I'm, I'm not sure I know the name. I'm thinking you needed me. Yes, Dwayne Andrews. <laughs> you held my hand when it was cold, when I was lost. You took me home. Finally, some ladies in the competition from the beautiful island of Cape Breton. They came here as friends are leaving as enemies. Ah, oh, to my right, Margie Beaton. How are you tonight, dear? I'm ready to go. I'm ready true? to win this. Let me yeah. hear your sound device. Make sure you're good. <laughs> All right, she's good. And the beautiful and talented and oh so sparkly Chrissy Crowley. How are you tonight, dear? Good. It's a kill or be killed kind of game, isn't it? It is. Well, you know, you're coming into it as a, uh, you've been here before, whereas she's a rookie. I'm, and I'm a reigning champion, and you got to consider that, Margie. All right, very good. Now bring it on in here, girls, because how this is going to work is we're playing for <laughs> spectacular jumping bean coffee. The winner gets the big one. The loser, the consolation prize. But really, everybody wins because we all get coffee from Jumping Bee. I feel really good about this, so get your sound devices ready. Okay. So I'll drink today, love. Uh, I'll sit. Oh! Well, I that's the Rankin family. <laughs> Fare thee well, love. Oh, come on. So I'll drink. Right. Sure. Do you want another song? Look at Chrissy. She's like, this is outrageous. Okay. But I think it should come down to a step down, a step up. <laughs> I do. Okay. I cannot believe it. Dave McDonald, returning champ, here from Prince Edward Island and alone. Where are the paper lines? What's going on? 
Uh, they're at home working on recording stuff. All right, very good. Yes. You're going up against an entire band led by Corey LaRue. How are you, sir? Good. Feeling, feeling good. Neon Dreams, big, big showing at the gala. Way to go. Thank you. Yeah, very good. <laughs> All right, now, uh, that's it with the pleasantries, because we what go. we're doing right now is playing for Jumping Bean Coffee. The winner gets a, a full bag. The loser gets a half bag, which means everybody wins. All right, so the way this works is I'm going to begin to read lyrics from a hit East Coast song. Okay. The minute you know the song, buzz in. Nope, I was a first class rookie taking out bullies in my all black Cory LaRue. And a ninja classified. Yes! No, I was a first class rookie taking out bullies in my all black hoodie. Man, a mystery, you know the history. Get it over All right, very good. He was outnumbered from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But congratulations. Okay. Uh, you'll come back next it's year. It's a great song. Yeah, it's it a is. great song. We so. should all sing it. Want to? My and a ninja. I like it. My and a ninja. My and a ninja. My and a ninja. We had a judge's ruling and apparently Margie's victory over the last song was unfair <laughs> because she lives in the hometown of the Rankin family and therefore we're going to do it again. I don't want letters so don't write me unless you want to say fun things and therefore bring it. All right, here we go. It sure cuts a groove. Makes it, oh, Chrissy Crowley. Sunburn Gordy Stamps. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Sure cuts a groove. Makes it hard to be humble. All right, well, you're both just fantastic, I think, right? I think she did really well in the Rankins question, yeah. and we should share the big bag of coffee. I, I think I have two big bags of coffee oh. to give you. Thanks for playing our game. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Well, ours wasn't the only game in town. Just down the street from the Delta at Mile One Center, East Coast artists were playing a different kind of gig, going head-to-head -head with TV Titans' Republic of Doyle for charity. Now, if you follow Alan Hocko on Twitter, you know the Doyle squad lace them up on a regular basis. And as for the ECMA crew, well, let's face it, they just met before the puck dropped. In the words of acclaimed musician James Hill, imagine a hockey player showing up at a jazz jam and being expected to keep up. Well, I understand the final score was like 10-ish to 3 for Republic of Doyle. It's fair to say that there were only winners out there. So congratulations to the lot of you. You can watch this show and all the other great Community One programming anytime you want. Simply click the On Demand button on your Bell Alliant Fiber Op TV remote and follow the steps on your screen. And by all means, take a smidge of time to visit CNBC.com where you'll find plenty of bonus material on the East Coast music folks featured in this show and all kinds kinds of other amazing Atlantic Canadians too. Fun features, cool people profiles, exclusive stuff, and so much more. Hey, and stay tuned for part two of our ECMA special from St. John's, where we'll talk to Tim Chasen, Maureen and Karen Ennis, Megan Smith and the Trues, just to name a few. We'll play a fun game with Port Cities, get to know the secrets, take in David Miles' East Coast radio show, and tons more ECMA fun. Plus the remaining letter clues in our TV Free Stuff prize pack giveaway. You won't want to miss it. That's it for part one. I'm Stephanie Beaumont. We'll see you next time on CNBC.